Welcome, in this video, I will show you the best wireless hacking toolkit on Linux. WireSpy is an advanced automate MITMF attacks framework which can perform many wireless hacking stuffs like monitoring, logging, DNS spoofing, MAC address spoofing and many more. Download it from this link, it is https github.com, yes 31 wirespygit Wirespy, it automates man-in-the-middle attack over Wi-Fi. Wirespy allows attacker to set up a quick honey pods to carry out MITMAs. Monitoring and logging functionalities are implemented in order to keep records of the victims, traffics or activities. Other tools can be used together with Wirespy to further more advanced attacks. Two type of attacks are supported at the moment. Honey port, set up a simple rogue hotspot and wait for clients to connect. Evil twin, force victim to auto connect to the honey spot by spoofing a trusted hotspot. More features, power amplification, MAC address spoofing, deauthenticate its user to force them to transparently auto connect to the evil twin access point monitoring the victim's traffics, logging the victim's traffics. Let's open up github.com ares31 forward slash wirespy. Link in the browser. Copy the git link wirespy. Open up terminal, type git clone and paste the copy to URL and hit enter. Cloning is started. Tool ID downloaded successfully, change terminal desktop directory to wirespy, type cd space wirespy, here you can see that wirespy.py python file, let's run wirespy.py file, type sudo dot for slash wirespy, here you can see that features of wirespy tool, first one rogue access point, rogue access point to the man in middle attack and network attacks, per Porting to provide wireless internet services, but snooping on the traffic can be used to capture of credential of unsuspecting user by either snooping the communication by phishing. Second, Evil Twin access point. An attacker can easily create an Evil Twin with a smartphone or other internet capable device and some easily available software. The attacker positions himself in the vicinity of a legitimate hotspot and lets his device discover what services set, identifier, and radio frequency the legitimate access point uses. He then sends out his own radio signal using the same name as the legitimate access point. To the end user, the evil twin looks like a hotspot with a strong signal. That's because the attacker has not only used the same network name and settings as a good twin, he is impersonating. He has also physically positioned himself near the end user so that his signal is likely to be strongest within the range. If the end user is tempted by the strong signal and connects manually to the evil twin to access the internet, or if the end user's computer automatically chooses the connection because it is running in promotious mode. Third, display or hide DHCP leases. Fourth, Wi-Fi start or stop sniffing. A wireless sniffer is a type of packet analyzer. A packet analyzer is a piece of software or hardware designed to intercept data as it is transmitted over a network and decode the data into format that is readable for humans. Fifth, start or stop DNS poisoning. DNS cache poisoning, also known as DNS spoofing is a type of attack that exploits vulnerabilities in the domain name to divert internet traffic away from legitimate server and towards fake ones. One of the reasons DNS poisoning is so dangerous is because it can spread from DNS server to DNS server. Sixth one, boost up wireless card. So that's it in this video on Warspy wireless hacking tool in Kalinux. Thank you for watching this video.